All righty then. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matthew Baker of Beautiful New York Tours. If there's one thing that a lot of people like indulging in, especially when there isn't much else to do, such as in a time of quarantine, it's celebrity culture. Everyone loves dreaming about what it would be like to live like those who are wealthier than we are, more famous than we are, more accomplished than we are. And this sometimes leads to odd and interesting envies and jealousies. Well, envy and jealousy in the world of the rich and famous is nothing new. It's been going on for a long time. It happened in New York. The year is 1906, and the place is Madison Square Garden. Now, this, of course, is the old Madison Square Garden. There have been four Madison Square Gardens on three different locations in the institution's history. We are talking about 1906's Madison Square Garden, a beautiful palace on Madison Square Park. It was designed by Stanford White, the greatest architect of his day, also the designer of Washington Square Arch and Judson Memorial Church, among many others. An imposing figure, White was tall, burly, red-haired, with the most enormous mustache anyone had ever seen. He could be seen from a mile away. He was also known as a molester and debaucher. Any responsible parent knew to keep their daughters well away from Stanford White. Unfortunately, White's parents were nowhere near as responsible in terms of raising their son to respect the sexual consent of others. It was 1906. A lot of people had a lot to learn. Well, Evelyn Nesbitt comes into Stanford White's corner of the world. Evelyn Nesbitt is known as the most beautiful woman in the world, a showgirl and chorus dancer very much on her way up in the world of vaudeville. She is 16 years old when Stanford White invites her into his home to see his etchings. The cliché invitation, would you like to come up and see my etchings, is said to have originated with Stanford White. There he has his red velvet swing, and he proceeds to sculpt a statue of Evelyn Nesbitt. He also proceeds to get her drunk and to molest her while she is unconscious. Years later, Evelyn Nesbitt marries Harry K. Thaw of Pittsburgh. Thaw, a wealthy millionaire with a long history of mental instability and jealousy, is deeply envious of White for his social stature and his public reputation. But as he gains more and more of a hint of what has happened between White and his wife, Thaw becomes enraged. And one night in late June of 1906, Thaw takes a pistol to Madison Square Garden and goes up to the roof garden where Stanford White is attending a show. In the greatest poetic irony you can imagine, the final song in the show is called I Could Love a Million Girls. During this song, Thaw walks up to White, declares, You've ruined my wife and shoots White three times, once in the shoulder and twice in the face. White was killed at Madison Square Garden, which he had designed. After having his last dinner at the Players Club, which he had designed, Thaw was acquitted for murder on the grounds of temporary insanity, though there are some who would question just how temporary it was. After getting out of the mental institution, Thaw went to visit some friends down in Miami Beach. They took him on a little tour around their house, said, Harry, what do you think of our new home? He looked around and said, I think I shot the wrong architect. Today, Madison Square Garden is no longer anywhere near Madison Square Park, nor does it bear any of the architectural accoutrements of Stanford White's style. But there are many wonderful white buildings you can see the Gould Memorial Library, the Players, the Metropolitan Club, and, of course, the stunning Washington Square Arch, for which he will almost undoubtedly be best remembered for as long as he is remembered at all. 
In place of Madison Square Garden is now the beautiful New York Life Building designed by another great architect, Cass Gilbert. But the steps of Stanford White and Harry K. Thaw and Evelyn Nesbitt are easily walked in once it is safe to do so. Please check me out at Beautiful New York Tours. You can search Beautiful New York Tours on Facebook or email me at baker.tours at yahoo.com. Again, that is baker.tours at yahoo. Thank you very much.